Okay, I want to kind of take this opportunity to apologize now. Every episode up to this point has been pre recorded. So, any of you who's been telling me, like, Ah, oh, you've been missing this and that, and blah, 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 blah. That is why. Literally, every Yeti. episode up to this point has been pre recorded. Hey, everybody, Klaus here. Welcome back for more. Let's play Chrono Trigger. Last time, you're making our escape from the um, Guardian Castle after a. Um, <coughs> Unjust and unfair trial rated against us. Kind of similar to trials, court trials in our real world, unfortunately. This time, we're gonna be finishing our escape. But first, you wanna check this guy. You get five mid tonics right here. Not bad. Okay. So even though I couldn't get any McTonics uh, from um, standard cards, you can get them from the supervisor. This isn't bad at all. Okay. What was that? <laughs> it's that thing I totally didn't spoil last episode. Forward, Dragon Tank! Crush these rebels! Yeti! Alright, this is it! The battle gets a Dragon Tank! This thing can be pretty tough to bring down. First and foremost, I cannot stress this. This is enough. Strike the head! Because unless you get rid of the head, this thing is going to be near impossible to deal with, right? So you want to focus primarily on the head. Okay, its head doesn't take... Okay, ah, blah, blah, blah. Its head isn't nearly as defensive as the rest of it. But it's still rather annoying to take down as it repairs pretty much all damage down to the dragon tank, even the head itself. It has quite a few different attacks, fire breath coming from the head, missiles coming from the body, and a grinder attack which charges at you. Okay, case in point, like I said, it has a fire attack. It's only um, attack that I'll attack both would be the, um, the yeah, grinder. Which, uh, well, looks well, well, ah! Store some energy for that. What I like doing is knocking off the head and then focusing on the grinder. As the head, focus, ah, blah, blah, blah. The head actually, um, is the, um, bigger threat here, believe it or not. I want to take the time to heal Luca with the uh, Mitonic. It'd be better to, uh, wow, picking on Chrono. I still thought like thinking. I did that on Lucas' turn. Man, but man, do I pay very poor attention. <laughs> Whatever. The head should be finished at this point, anyways. Oh! Yep! The head is finished! Alright! So now we can flame toss! It still has high resistance to fire, though. You know what I find rather interesting is the manual saying that it's immune to both lightning and fire. Interestingly enough, the um, there's no way to get any lightning text in the game unless you hack them in. I guess it's a square enix to think of the head and be like, in case anyone thought of doing that. Yeti! Yeah, I guess. And there goes the grinder. You pretty much got this locked down. I had, I actually did have a failed attempt at this boss sign. Something I find kind of funny happened. Yeti! Which, um, I'll edit the failed attempt in the, um, inside of this video. Yeti! But yeah, we pretty much got this locked down. 
couples. Sorry, Cardo, you're healing Luca. Hi. Right. We've done it. Take another dragon tank. Jump strike! Impact! The got the dragon tank! Visit quickly! Too slow. Don't fool yourself into thinking you've gotten away with this. Yeah, no one cares what I had to say, buddy. All along the way, I want to go. I want to go ahead and take the stuff that's um down here. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Oh damn it! I went down too far. Nothing for us here in UA. It's kind of very nice. Sorry. Okay. They're escaping. Yeah. Nothing for us here. <laughs> they won't actually do anything to catch us. It's kind of odd. I want to check if there's anything over there, actually, but... There we go. Is it actually anything over here worthwhile? I never bothered to check, so... No, there actually isn't. Okay, come on, move out of the way. Thank you. They're escaping! Our choice was about to break through. Not going anywhere. Yeah, we can talk to them. Stop! Princess Nadia. <clears throat> this is my friend. Show me respect. But... Can't you take orders? Of course. Hold it right there! Do as King Guardia 33rd says. Father. Sounds, Princess Nadia. The throne comes before your personal wishes. What? Just because I have a title, well, it doesn't mean I'm not a person. You pick up strange ideas venturing outside. I didn't pick up anything. It's called common sense. If only our politicians had that. Princess Nadia, I despise you. I'm leaving. Princess Nadia. Come on, Corno. Don't just stand there. I'm, they're not even standing. They're kneeling. Oh, whatever. Technicalities. Princess Nadia. There they are, don't lose them! What's happened here today is kind of your fault. There's no escape! Stunts! Oh, well you know there is. Looks like a dead end. And another atrocious we can't do anything about. The gate. Come 
on. But we don't know where it'll take us. Who cares? This place stinks anyway. Princess Nadia. It's completely irrational. Hurry, Chrono. Your pixelated eyeballs are just popping out of their sockets. There's no way the counselor can meet us here. Where are we? Civilization here seems so advanced. Looks like, like we're in another world. Yeah, this door. The strange crest is engraved here. It is sealed by some kind of power. Yeah, pretty yeah. Pretty much the same as the charge test we've been seeing. But Ooh. Holy crap. Just look at everything. It's been Here is just so dark. Heck, there's even this little lightning flash a moment ago. Where'd it go, but the trend don't. Hopefully, we can find out where we shown up. Cash? Sure. You call this money? Oh well. That is some good stuff. Money is money. Don't complain. Anyway. We have an auto gun for Luca. Iron suit and iron helm for everyone. Iron suit and iron helm. Up. <laughs> oh, don't hit up, hit right or left. We don't need ten of these things. Say many, it'll do you good. That's my motto. Uh, what good would money do in a place like this? Found some food at Aries Dome to the northeast. But only if you go past lab 16. The beasts there don't react to weapons like guns and swords. Yeah, we're gonna want to keep this tip in mind. Okay, True Stone? Never heard of it. This is Tram Dome. Okay, looking for food. There's nothing here. Kingdom? What are you talking about? See, this is an inner tron. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds. But it's still easy hungry. Yeah, yes, we all rest in the inner tron. And HP MP restore. But you're still hungry! <laughs> Uh, that's another really good line in the game. It's like, 
Yay, you're restored. You're so great. <laughs> that is awesome. That's why I love using the Intertron. That's still in the question mark. I have no idea where we are. So we need to go to lab 16. Alright. These rats are really, really irritating. They are annoying to get around. They attack you. They actually steal stuff from you. It can be really annoying to get around. So, yeah. Got an octopod right here. And the meteor. I'm going to take those out first of all. Because the meteor... They restore HP to their, to their allies. So it's very important to take them out first. We have an octopod. I'm kind of surprised that any organic life is still around. I mean, given how much wreckage and everything is... Uh, as much bad respect I can give them, we still come along and kill them off anyway. You're dicks. Whoa, that was close. I almost... This thing! I've been waiting to talk about this. That rat got a red tonic. Can't get lucky twice. The Berserker! This thing sucks. I hate this thing. I'll show off what it's capable of. I'll give us stronger stuff, but at the same time... You know what a Berserker typically does. I'll show it off in this upcoming battle up here. Put on Chrono for the time being. What it does, what if you have it equipped, it'll lock you into attacking. Yeah, we, we can do significantly more damage. But, it is also really, really bad against bosses as well. It can also screw up such strategies such as taking out the meteor first. So, there you go. I guess it will, I guess it will keep it on Corno for the time being. I guess, despite how much I hate the Berserker. But at one point I did a live stream in this game and somebody told me that the Berserker is actually good at, as outside of boss fights. Like, uh, for example, right there, um, I was gonna call it the fight, but I wanted to give a clear demonstration. Like with the Berserker, I actually managed to take out that Meteor in one go. This early on, so. But my main problem with this is... A, you don't even get to choose your target, and B, should a scenario come up where I want to use Aura Roll? Yeah, I get absolutely no chance to do that. That's just fine. We got another load sword right here. Well, I'd just like to take the one from the dungeon. How did that right now steal from me? Okay, I'll take it. 
I'm surprised that Red didn't steal from me. It had the perfect opportunity to. Oh well. Load bow right here. Significantly better damage. Yeah, you better want that. I'm kind of going against my word here. Oh well. I guess I'm just too used to doing that. Okay, that has been taken care of. And This this kind of looks like a um kind of like skull kind of thing. I can't I don't know if it just looks like that because of graphical limitations, but yeah, that's kind of that's what it looks like to me anyway. Hey, let's get around this annoying little rat. And that those enemies that are pretty much that's just immune to swords and guns, basically. These are all those enemies! Shadow! Actually, if I can... get an attack with these guys... Yep. All center attacks are just going to miss. Hey, at this point in time... Luka's the only one that can even damage them. You know, because of uh, the flame toss. Case in point. Sword's gonna miss. Arrows are gonna miss. Yeah, you need to use elemental magic on these guys. Just wanna go ahead and uh, show that off. Normal tags are gonna miss no matter what. Their first instance of um, monsters that go down. Be well. To magic anyway. Gonna go over here. Open this. Ah, uh, kind of disappointing at this point. Oh well. And thank you, Shadow, for showing up out of nowhere. Well, that fight got on longer than I would like. Now there's an example of why I don't like Berserker. Well, I'll I'll, I'll be in the, I'll end up de-equipping this at the end of this um, episode. We're fighting up this mutant. And, hey, don't hit up me. That's rude. Mutants, kind of like the octopods, can uh, suck up HP. As soon as I say it, wow, what that? Yeti! Oh, oh, that's wrong, man. Where he was training HP from? I don't even want to say it. Just that bad. Wait, I don't know for sure if this particular mutant is avoidable or not. I'm going to say no. Oh. That goes again! Get out of here. Thank you. Okay, uh, that was worse than I remember it being. Okay, after all that, and he's off here. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we we'll be entering the Ares Dome. And seeing what they have for us here, alright? See you guys then.
What are you complaining about, Chrono? I like lightning.